know, uh, going around the county campaigning, this is the uh, number one question I get asked all the time. What is my uh, what is my thinking on Common Core? Am I for it or against it? Common Core is it's a state mandate, so it's it's standardized testing that we're required to do by the state of Florida. So we really don't have an option. Well, I am not a fan of Common Core. I am. Bluntly, I'm anti-Common Core. I, I am not a believer in federal government getting involved in local education. The idea behind it is, is a good one, to have everybody uh, at the same, you know, getting the same education across the country. But it's where the implementation happens that there's all these discrepancies and there's been some issues. I'm against Common Core. I think it needs to be overturned. And I think that if we have a united school board, uh, that we can work within the administration to uh, go to Tallahassee and make that happen. I would just like to see a more traditional sort of curriculum and standards come back to our schools, uh, something pre-2011 uh, when Common Core was really nationwide uh, the education tool that was used. So I, I think we can do better for our children. I think they can uh, learn uh, better literature, better writing, better math skills with a different curriculum and I would really push hard to overturn Common Core. So we have the right and the responsibility to remove Common Core materials from our classrooms and choose something better. Now we can't technically get rid of Common Core because we must stick with the testing but with anything if you remove the heart of something you remove the thing. If we remove the Common Core books and materials from our classrooms, we have essentially removed Common Core until we can get the state to deal with the testing. We have the opportunity to write the curriculum that will match or align with those standards. So that's where we have a little bit of flexibility. And I don't think that it would be in our best interest to just say that we want to walk away from it, that we want to refuse all funds so that we don't have to do Common Core. I think that they are standards that we can work with. We've already adapted about 15% of them, uh, and that's why now they're actually the Florida standards. That's what we have, not the full Common Core standards. So we've, we've adapted some of them already, and I think that the rest of them we can work with and we can make them more rigorous and we can we can always go above what we have. But if you don't take a standardized testing that counts 30 percent of your grade at the end of the course that can make your high school diploma the equivalent of a GED. You can lose bright future scholarships, you can use, lose athletic scholarships, things of that nature. So it's a very serious consequence. So it's something we have to do. Whether I like Common Core I don't like what it's doing. I think we can do better than Common Core, but the point of the matter is, is we, we can't opt out of it as a, as a district. You know, some candidates may tell you that we're going to stop Common Core. Well, if they're running for school board and they want to stop Common Core, they're running for the wrong office.